Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, for those of you struggling to get your person to commit to you, we're going to find out if they will in the near future commit to you. Today is the 14th of October 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 9.35 p.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away free personal reading as usual. Uh, once a week for a lucky winner to enter hit like subscribe and comment below i love virgo if you've commented before you can do it again it will increase your chance in winning and winners will be announced on the community page weekly okay virgo are you ready spirits and angels please show me for virgo the person virgo has been trying to get them to commit will they commit in the near future this is a very specific reading, okay, Virgo? Bear that in mind. Whoa. Make sure you subscribe, Virgo. It's free to subscribe. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. We've got the world here in reverse. Hmm. Well, justice could mean commitment, okay? But we've got two of swords. It's like a 50-50 chance of them finally committing to you because look at the Knight of Wands in reverse. Playboy. Knight of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be a Libra. I'm seeing Virgo here as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, can be any sign, okay? This is, <laughs> this is a Playboy card. Two of Swords, 50-50 chance. Not sure yet at this moment. Six of Wands, does look like your person likes attention or likes to keep the options open. Um, five of Swords also could be somebody manipulative, especially when it's right next to the magician. I would say be careful with somebody like that though, Virgo, because, you know, this is somebody very self-serving. Look, he's alone, but he's, he, he's holding all of these swords. Why do you need so many swords for? You're one person by yourself and you only have two hands. I'm not saying you, I'm saying your person, okay? Two swords on the floor. So this could mean somebody doesn't even want to play this game anymore. You might just end up thinking, I don't even want, I don't even want to play this game with you anymore. But um, Virgo, this is somebody who, who wants everything, right? Look at the Six of Wands, likes to be um, put on a pedestal. This is somebody who likes attention again or likes uh, to be validated likes to be admired right got the eight of swords here in my verse i'm not feeling too well by the way virgo <laughs> it's the it's the time of the month uh sharks week but i'm okay i'm okay my energy is just a little bit low right now but eight of swords is in reverse queen of wands again your person will be a fire sign Aries, sagittarius leo but i feel like your person who can't commit feels very shallow feels like somebody very like somebody very shallow and doesn't think before they doesn't think be before they take actions um queen of wands again this is like an attention seeker person and justice is right here so Virgo, I feel like they're gonna try, okay? The magician and the death here in my verse. It does look like your person is going to try to commit to you um, eventually. And, but the only problem is the magician here. They could be saying that they are doing it, they are trying, but are they really trying? They may try to tell you that they are committed or will be committing to you eventually just so that 
this co uh, this connection could continue and not end okay let's see a bit more do see them trying but i'm still keeping secrets high priestess high priestess is a card that is very uncertain it's kind of like similar not exactly like the moon but it's similar um uh, in terms of you know you never know um whenever we ask a question will this person do this or not will this happen will this happen or not when we ask questions like that and if the high priestess comes out or the moon these two cards come out that means it's like don't really know yet <laughs> you'll see you'll find out okay and we've also got these seven of wands here the devil in reverse okay so it might take some time okay Virgo and it also the devil in reverse this is like toxicities or anything that is negative it could be lying cheating addiction any any sorts of addiction and it's very hard to disconnect from the devil okay i'm just going to give you an example and i've given this example many times before it's just like smoking cigarettes right um even if you have quit there's always this tendency of you one day just relapse or even with any sorts of substances especially if you're around people who smoke or around people who do these things so it's more likely for you to get influenced that way so i feel like you know this is why the devil card and the devil card is here is in reverse so it makes me feel like your person may try but no promises if there is going to be a relapse or not okay we're in reverse this is a stuck energy so it goes round and round in circles right and even if they don't commit even if they say that they they're committing deep down they still possibly have that desire to continue doing what they do whatever they like okay because this person is quite selfish and seven of wands but they will try though that's what i i can see them trying perhaps the devil in reverse is like releasing a third party as well if they're involved with somebody else four of pentacles in reverse see king of pentacles in reverse this is not this is not a committed king doesn't matter king or queen it's not gender specific and we've got these seven of swords here as well so this is a cheating lying another card these two cards one actually one two three four five well this one's slightly better five cards that they're pointing towards them being unfaithful or somebody very sneaky a liar a cheater a selfish person so will they eventually commit all i can tell you is maybe all i can tell you is also they will try but i kind of don't trust this person okay they will try but is it going to be successful will it last for a long period of time i'm not sure about that okay virgo and another thing is i feel like you know commitment it's it's not something you can force someone to do right you can set your boundaries you can set your standards that's the only thing you can do um you can tell your partner what to do or what you want them to do but if they don't want to do it they don't have the will or, or that they don't have the character to do it um then they won't right but in any case virgo this is your reading thank you so much for being patient with me <laughs> I, i'm very slow with this reading you can spit it up if you want to take care virgo i love you guys so much and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button okay that way you'll be notified um every time when i post a videos here take care virgo i love you bye